Did you have any particular thought in mind? Well, I was thinking, uh, lace. Lace? What do you want lace gloves for? Oh, well, they'd be nice for evening wear. Well, so you think they're getting round the clubs, are you? Those aren't lace, but there is a muslin spot. Day, Mr. Sharples. What's the do? Can't you talk on telephone while we're about? It's a very private matter, Mr. Sharples, very private. I see. Well, come on, it's no good hanging round where we're not wanted. There are other shops. Uh, well, I'll come in later. Oh, I'll more fool you. Let me rest assured I will. I will. Well, come, some folk have it easy. Mrs. Sharples. Now, you needn't Mrs. Sharples me lens when you haven't come to buy out. No, I saw your big black shiny car outside. I suspected you'd be gassing in here. Now, just a minute, Mother. Uh, now, goodbye, sir. I'm no good talking I'll... to him. He knows now. I'd be glad if you'd keep in touch, sir. You never know. Oh, you haven't got it yet, then, haven't you? I'm sorry to tell you we haven't, madam. Oh, well, I'll tell you something, shall I? If you are looking for the Hewitt offspring, you'll need look no further than number seven, Coronation Street. How do you know? How do I know? Well, I wear glasses for reading, but I'm not blind. I've just seen it arrive. Mother, just thank you. Is it true, Mrs. Sharples? Is the baby safe? Now, you've never known me to go around carrying false tales, oh, have you? Oh, go on, is it? Who took it? Well, for your information, it was your friend Joe Nakers and Elsie Tanner I saw knocking on Harry Hewitt's front door. 